The old monuments are very beautiful. They're very intricate, but you couldn't read them. It bothered me greatly. A lot of individuals, they paid the ultimate sacrifice to our country. And to see that they faded away into oblivion, never to be seen again, um, was something that I just didn't find acceptable. We will restore the monuments of soldiers, veterans, everyday people, and we tell their entire life story from the day they were born until their final day on Earth. My name is Andrew Lumish, but I'm better known as the Good Cemeterian. Chris was my assistant. I sent him a text and he didn't respond, which was not typical of his, you know, behavior, what he would normally do. And the next morning, about six o'clock, I received a phone call from his wife's best friend, and she informed me that he had passed away over the weekend, and he was in his middle 30s. Essentially, he had PTSD, and I knew that he did, um, and he had taken his life. He confided all these things and told, talked to me about stuff, and I was that person to him. And um, I wasn't on that day. When I do these restorations and when we tell these stories, we're remembering them. We're remembering their, their, their lives, their past. We're telling of their story eloquently and respectfully. And I always think of Chris when we do this because I don't want people to forget Chris either. I bring in usually two to three five gallon plastic jugs of water with me. Um, I bring everything. I have a bag where I carry supplies, towels, and solution. D2 is the only product utilized by all of our national cemeteries, including Arlington. And I'll have a spray bottle in one hand and a brush in the other, and I start working my way down. Typically what I'll do is I'll do between four and five monuments in an eight-hour day. The entire process, on average, from start to finish, takes minimal, minimally two months and up to nine months, and sometimes even longer than that. Now we run a nonprofit. Um, we raise money for Gold Star families, and we raise money for soldiers with PTSD who are being reintroduced to society after, after their service to their country. And that's going to be it for him today. This is going to be beautiful. You're surrounded by heroes today. Are you recognizing them now, or do you have your blinders on? A lot of people, we walk through life with blinders, and we don't recognize um, some really important stuff that's going on all around us. 